Hello and welcome to Read Becca. So I wanted to talk through a short review, hopefully, of What Strange Paradise by Omar el -Akkad. Um, There's not a ton to the plot, so, so I'm going to kind of try to keep that vague. Uh, the, the actual plot follows a boy named Amir, and it's split between the before and the after. And the before situation is that he is Syrian and he and his family are being displaced from their home and uh, so they are kind of moving around and, and don't really have um, don't really have a sense of belonging where they are um, and they're they're watching skepticism about the situation they've been put into um, but in that before he finds himself on a refugee ship ship that is barely keeping afloat right um, then in the after we have the situation where he has washed ashore on an island and he um, is washing ashore with bodies from the ship that he was on. So when he washes ashore, the authorities are kind of trying to catch him, uh, but they don't speak the same language, so he doesn't know what's going on, um, and he's, he's very afraid, and a young girl who's a little older than him uh, spots him and kind of begins to take an interest and, and hides him from the authorities. And so she begins to take care of him because she has really seen people like him be mistreated on the island. And really that's what the narrative here is about, um, or the book is about, um, regardless of the narrative, is very much this split between the plight of the refugees and the Western lens. And so in the before, we have these awful, awful discussions between the people on the ship where, um, I mean, they're, they're just desperate. Uh, that is, that is truly the situation where these people have made the only decision they have out of desperation. And, um, they, they talk about the ways and, and kind of give each other tips almost how to be more appealing to the West and how to get accepted, um, and, and be allowed to immigrate. Um, so, so those conversations are, are very difficult. They're just emotionally stomach-turning moments throughout this. Um, and I think the author in the writing is extremely restrained. Um, he could play up the graphicness of this. Um, we hear about bodies being washed up on the shore, but there's not really any descriptive content about that at all whatsoever. Um, so he could have completely um, played into that and written a, a really um, graphic, horrifying book. This is horrifying for how understated it is. He managed to write something that is immensely affecting um, without being emotionally manipulative. And so we hear things like the in the after, the tourists over their hamburgers are griping about the fact that bodies washing up on the beach have ruined their day because they can't go out on the beach, right? And so it is moments like that 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 just for me were so, I think I said, emotionally stomach turning. Um, and I had moments throughout that were like that, that were very confronting um, about how we how we see or or don't see um, the crisis that's going on right in front of us. And so I think um, I think the author did an incredible job of that. And I, I had read this prior to everything that has begun going on um, in Afghanistan. That that is something that's happening um, right now. We are in a news cycle that is hyping refugee crisis and Unfortunately, this book brings to the forefront how much of a perpetual cycle that is. That is not new. It's not something that has just begun because it's in the news cycle right now. Um, and this really um, explored deeply the horrors of that and how callous um, people are to the situation of, of these refugees who, who literally don't have any other, other option. Um, so. I think that's really what I have to say about the book. I do want to give um, some minor spoilers. One minor spoiler about the style of the ending, um, kind of vague, and then one major spoiler about the actual ending. Um, 
So thank you very much for watching if you stopped there. If not, I'm going to continue on here with a quick spoiler. So the spoiler, minor spoiler, is going to be that the ending, the last page, is very disconnected from the narrative and it does not provide real closure. It's pretty ambiguous. So that is the minor spoiler. The major spoiler, as what actually happens in the final page, uh, is that there is a body of a boy found on the beach. And um, based on how the actual plot narrative ended, that's not implied anywhere, um, but the details are similar enough that it could be describing a mirror and we're being told that, you know, actually everything we just read is not, not real and that was just what we wanted to hear, really. Um, but they're still left ambiguous enough that it may be another boy. It could not be a mirror. And my read on that is that it doesn't matter if it's a mirror or if it's not. It is written this way specifically because it, it, there is a boy on the beach. There is the body of a boy on the beach. Whether we wanted the, the kind of happy narrative of Amir having the chance at um, getting a, a life where he was cared for, um, in the end, there is still the body of a boy on the beach. And we want to play into our superiority and that there is heroism and one boy was rescued by um, someone from the Western culture that saved him, but meanwhile, all of the others are bodies on the beach. So not a very uplifting one, but one that really, really um, deeply affected me. So I would strongly recommend that you pick up this book.